Since the 1920s, swing dancing has had a long and vibrant run in the St. Louis area. And a local group of guys and dolls is keeping that tradition alive, in part by teaching it. And as Kara Vanninger shows us, Lindy Hop St. Louis also connects fans of this dance style with socials featuring live local music. There are few forms of music or dance that are more exhilarating than swing. In the late 1920s, young people in Harlem, inspired by the jazz that was bursting from the bandstands, began to inject creative spontaneity into popular, structured dances of the day. Out of this, the Lindy Hop and other types of swing dances were born, spreading like wildfire over racial and societal barriers. There's so much room for individual styles and not a lot you can do to actually do it incorrectly. Pretty much everything is welcome, everything is fair game. Of course, there is still a lot of skill involved to dance this smoothly with a partner. In addition to hosting and supporting dances all over the city, Lindy Hop St. Louis holds weekly classes at the Grandel Theater, offering sessions for both the experienced and the newcomer to swing. Curiosity signed me and my two left feet up for a beginner session, because if I ever hoped to get here, I knew I had to start here. Uh -huh. There you go. Two of the instructors, Jenny Shire and Christian Frommelt, discovered a love for dancing in college and were instrumental in the founding of Lindy Hop St. Louis when they saw the desire the city had to grow its swing community. We were kind of accidental arts administrators uh, just because we, we identified this, this awesome thing that could and should be happening in St. Louis. We feel so fortunate that we've been able to have our home in Grand Center. The Grand Del Theater was a find, it's a treasure. It really rounds out the whole experience um, in terms of having a sense of place, this sense that we fit there. Lindy Hop is, and, and swing dancing in general is something that you can find worldwide, and we've definitely put a lot of our energy and attention towards getting to know the dancers who grew up dancing in St. Louis wherever we can, kind of doing that kind of research so that we can see what our specific heritage was as dancers who who started dancing in St. Louis. For people who are just looking for an outlet to move around and express themselves creatively, but also just connect with other people and with music and with a community, um, Lindy Hop is just kind of a level playing field for everyone. What we found is that the age range of dancers who come to our classes and to all the Lindy Hop St. Louis events is definitely much wider. On any given night, you'll see um, people who are probably at the youngest, late high school or early college, all the way up to people who are in their 70s and even into their 80s. So I think that's been one really happy surprise about Lindy Hop St. Louis programming is that it's definitely something that's intergenerational and that tends to be a lot of fun. People come up to us and, and they say how welcome they feel and that's always been a preoccupation of ours uh, because this is community oriented and it's it's, there is a place for everyone at our dances, and I think that's kind of the unique power of the social dance floor. We don't have any here for the Nevermore Jazz Ball! That sounds about right. Every November, St. Louis opens up its dance floor to Lindy Hoppers from all over the United States and the world during the Nevermore Jazz Ball, a full weekend of classes, competitions, live music, and social dances. We knew that when we started our festival that we wanted to incorporate as much of St. Louis as possible because we knew that alone was going to make it a unique and special thing. By attending events at favorite local hotspots, such as the City Museum and Castle Loma Ballroom, visitors get the chance to explore St. Louis without missing a beat. When I moved here, I didn't know anybody. I'm from the West Coast originally and didn't know a whole lot about St. Louis, so I immediately connected into the Lindy Hop scene because it's where I found my social circle. And Lindy Hoppers all over the world welcome newcomers with open arms, and so I knew I could just connect right in and find out where the dances were and meet people who loved St. Louis and wanted to show me around. I think St. 
St. Louis has something that a lot of other dance scenes don't have, which is great homegrown local musicians. We have so many bands that we try to feature over the weekend, and people have never heard of a lot of these bands if they're not from St. Louis, but then they go away and they go back to their hometowns knowing about these great bands. Everyone has a good time. You'll almost always see a huge smile on people's faces. I know I have a reflex smile when I dance because I'm just having such a good time when I do it. After nearly nine decades and many worn out pairs of saddle shoes, the music and movement of swing still bring people together, regardless of age, race, or background, forming a welcoming community where everyone is free to be themselves and the smiles are contagious. It hasn't died out. We still go out and we can identify an older couple um, doing St. Louis shag or doing St. Louis style swing. So it really makes everything come full circle. Seeing that this tradition has been carrying, carried on, it kind of places us on that narrative as well and, and makes what we do that much more meaningful.